Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to Planet Zoo and our Redwood Red Wolf National Park. Oh my gosh, I am so happy that it's still here, you guys. This is our modded Planet Zoo experience after all. And so we are actually working with a ton of animal mods and one of them was not working. And I was freaking out trying to figure out if we had lost this precious zoo forever, which would have been tragic because we have put so much work into it. I love the expansion we have been doing for the bison to try to recreate some of that Yellowstone-esque sort of area. I love our little area that we have for campfire stories. We really need to go ahead and kind of straighten this out, get it, uh, somebody over here to talk. I'm going to see if somehow we could put down some of the talking point zones around the campfire so that people can come and actually sit down or at least look like they're sitting down somewhat uh, to learn some of the stories about the bison. I was so worried that we lost this place, even though we have put so much work into the adorable little chipmunk area. And speaking of which, we do need to name the chipmunk after some of you guys from the fantastic comments that you leave in previous videos soon. But it's all here! We're back and it's here and I'm so happy! And we now have the new North American animals to add in. So not only do we have all of our mods working again, but the chipmunks are also about to have babies. But we now have the North American animals. We have the, let's see. Well, I don't know if I really want to put the seal, the Californian sea lion, I mean, over here. So we have a Californian sea lion. Don't know if I'm going to go ahead and add it in. But we also have the moose, the majestic moose just waiting to be added in. And then we have also got, um, let's see, moose. We have cougar. We have the American alligator, which we'll think about adding in uh we've got the beavers there we go i knew i was really excited about something what the heck also oh my gosh the chipmunks are having so many babies all of a sudden we'll have to keep track of that in just a minute here oh yes yes and we've got our little lake oh i'm definitely adding beavers over here that's the perfect thing to kind of expand this zone and convince people to come this way that what i really need to convince people to do right now is like stay warm and not freeze to death what is with the snow all right all right let's actually come over i really don't want people to freeze to death on us while we're in the middle of trying to like attract oh guests think the tickets are underpriced all right you heard them friends we're gonna raise the prices there we go and actually if i remember correctly i think i found a whole bunch of cute campfires on the steam oops not camping but camp yeah i found these on the steam store the campfire set Look at how cute they are. So you can make some like actual campfires. So I think what we might do is maybe we'll have like a camping, a few camping grounds mixed in. So we have this big campsite, but it might be cute, especially because Chips and I like got back from Yellowstone last month uh, to actually have camping sites sort of scattered in between. And we could put places where guests could rest and maybe like get some food sort of tucked inside of them. I think that'd be really fun and it would be a fun way to kind of integrate like camping areas into the forest that we're putting in with all of the animals. So let's put down these campsites so I can see what they're doing here. Oh, they look so cool. Look at that. I really like that. And I don't know if these campsites, yeah, they do have a heater inside of it and it has a very tiny range. So I can totally increase this range and people could be like nice and toasty. And we're just gonna name this a campfire. There we go. All right, that's awesome. Here, let's go ahead and in honor of the return, we'll make a little camp next to the foxes. So if people wanna come over here and they wanna see the foxes, they can. They can come and camp near the foxes. And then let's see, do we have like any tents? tent i want to see so there's like a caravan tent oh those will be so good in one of our other builds oh my gosh that's so cool look at that i'm so adding that into sahula sand safari when we get a chance but until then we have these tents and they will just have to do can i change the color all right let's see if i can i don't know if i can change the color of these tents but we could put them down and kind of like decorate the area and we could have like a little a little camp with the foxes all right, can I change the color? Okay, I can't change the color of the tents. However, what I'm thinking about is what do people really want over here other than to be warm? 
So they're pretty chilled. So maybe we'll put down some like benches where people can rest. And then what do the guest needs? Where are our guest needs? Okay, so happiness is fine. Energy, they're not really that tired, but they're some of them are really hungry. The most of them are thirsty. Okay, and none of them really need the toilet for right here. Wait, animal welfare? Protesters? Why? What's going on with my... Where's my, my red wolf? What's wrong with him? Stone, what's going on? Did you get stuck? Did you get stuck somewhere, buddy? Oh no, he's too cold. Oh my gosh. All right, so speaking of campfires, uh, let's go ahead and we're going to get some of our... The red wolves are too cold. I, and I know that you guys have actually told me that too, and I just completely forgot. So red wolves do actually live in an area that is much warmer because they're here in North Carolina with me. Um, much, much warmer than Yellowstone. When we got to Yellowstone, it was ridiculously cold. We could not believe how cold it was in just the, the middle of September. At night, the first night that we were camping at Yellowstone, it got down to 14 degrees Fahrenheit. That's below freezing. That's really below freezing. And we hadn't thought that it would get that cold, so we didn't really pack properly for weather that was that chilly. But thankfully we made it through the night and the other nights were a lot more bearable because they only got down into, oh, what would I say? Uh, like down into the, like the low 30s, which is a little bit above freezing. <laughs> but yeah, that first day, I'll never forget that first day. We were, we were a little desperate. All right, hopefully this will help out. There we go. That's a very nice mossy rock combo, actually. I am a sucker for the moss rocks. And then I was thinking we could put like some ferns and things on it. Or maybe the brambles. All right. And if I sneak in here, the lady ferns would be a little bit much. The lady ferns would be a bit much. The bird nest ferns, staghorn ferns aren't gonna be here. All right, I think we need to go bramble, guys. The tiny bramble bush. Because that's going to actually fit this spot a lot better. Alright, we can put down some little brambles. Maybe I can grow some brambles up the side. Very nice. Oh my gosh, parakeet, the, the bison is having babies. We're just getting like a ton of babies all of a sudden. Um, the arrowwood bush. Oh, beautiful, but a little bit big for this. Bearberry bush. I'm just trying to make like a cute little... That's probably good enough. I kind of want like a stick or a small log. Oh, listen to them howl. Oh, that's so cool, you guys. I just wanted like a small log. Okay, that's actually really cool looking. I like that. We don't need that tree on all of them, but here we go. Let's merge them together. And then does that move my heater? Yes, it does, thank goodness. All right, so this is going to be, um, surprisingly warm mossy rock <laughs> that has a, a secret heater inside so we can handle that for the future so next time it snows we'll be able to go ahead and help out by putting the surprisingly warm mossy rock in more places but for now it's right there yay all right and we're getting a little camp for our, like foxes set up over here i do love that idea oh geez people are making such a huge mess i am so disappointed in all of you do you hear me disappointed so they're thirsty so we might put like a little drink station back here a little well of some type um and then what i was thinking about doing to like make our campsite really cute is actually make it huge like this let's see if i can manage this kind of like that no here let's back up a little all right bear with me friends I'm trying very hard to make something kind of adorable occur. All right, build would be obstructed here. Oh, now it's like super hot. Oh no, it's only a 61. That's not too hot. I just saw the, the heat wave shimmering in the air and I was like, oh dear, what now? What if I do... What I'm trying to do is make like a cute circle over here. So we can sort of loop through. Oh, that actually is working pretty well. Yeah, I like this. And then come on in. And maybe get another small one right here. 
So now what we have is spots where I can put down the benches and the picnic tables so we can give people like a place to rest. Um, and then we'll have a little spot where they can come get a drink, which I think is delightful. And we'll add it to the, the mystical fox area. Oh, I am so happy right now that we still happen to have, oh, this is so cute. All right, this is actually to get a drink, but of coffee. But you know what? I think coffee will be okay here. It, 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 it's Street Fox Coffee. We're literally located right next to like the foxes. I think that'll work out. So we'll add a new vendor in. And this is actually going to be Coffee Expert Rhonda. So we're going to say uh, Coffee uh, Brewer Barista. Hmm. How about we have Coffee Connoisseur? I do love that alliteration. Trying to spell, okay, give me a second. I have to look up how to spell connoisseur. Ugh, French, why? All right, so we're gonna have coffee, connoisseur. There we go. <laughs> there we are. And I, I believe I said Rhonda, who is next on the list from our amazing patrons who make all of these adventures possible. Thank you so much, Rhonda. I hope you're happy to be just like, oh, coffee. There we go. I hope you're happy to be uh, just a member of the, the beautiful fox forest. We'll make you make sure that she's assigned this zone. Very happy about this work zone. Jack's fantasy cottage. Is, am I, are these in the fantasy cottage or? Oh my, they definitely should be. All right, hopefully somebody is taking good care of our foxes. Do I have any staff assigned to Fantasy Cottage? I do, Bison Tracker Alexa is actually assigned to the cottage and will hopefully take very good care of our foxes. I'm very happy about that. Oh, look at the crowd we've got going now. All right, so what we'll do is we'll kind of move some of the tents to either side. And I think I'll add a couple more in for decoration's sake. So it looks like people actually might consider like camping here. And then I wonder if I can slide some of these benches into the tents. <gasps> oh, you guys. Oh, that's really cute. If I turn, if I can just turn the tent a little more, I think I can actually hide. Yeah, look at that. If, if I just turn the tent maybe to its side somewhat, I can hide these benches in there. And then we could have people go inside when they want a nice rest. All right, we'll turn like so. That's adorable, oh my gosh. And people will kind of like stick out a little bit when they sit down, but we'll just imagine like, hey, they're sitting in the tent. Oh, I love that. It's these kinds of little role play twist to things that just bring me so much delight. And if you're not here for the role play, I'm not sure why you're here, but I do hope you're having a good time. All right, so that's lovely. That's really, really cute. And then it can actually look like people have come here to go ahead and do a little bit of camping. So we'll add in a few more of these benches. And then we'll see if people want to come over and use them. All right. A little rotate here, like so. And then we'll go ahead and rotate it a little bit, like so. And then one more. All right, scoot back, scoot back. Doing good, doing good, scoot over. Yay, oh, this is so wonderful. And we'll be able to spend more time with our red foxes in just a minute here. All right, I think that should be good here. And then we need to convince people to stop throwing their trash everywhere, like what the heck? And I wonder if we can actually get like a tree trunk. So let's see if we can get a big giant tree trunk of some kind. Let's see, a dead tree. Let's see, here we go. The broken Himalayan tree trunk, the cherry blossom tree trunk. It would be really cool if I could get a cherry blossom tree trunk set up in a way. Oh, look at that. Oh, perfect, perfect. Maybe a little more over here. Oh, yes, you guys, we've got it. We've got a dead tree that is actually now hiding the trash can, which I think is perfect. Oh man, and you can't put the trash can like in a, unfortunately you can't put it in a blueprint it seems. So we're gonna need to like add a couple bins ourselves, but that's okay because that, that'll actually look really cool if we scatter like the dead trees around just a little bit. There we go. 
Excellent. And we'll cover this up right here. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Oh, that's charming. I wish we had like teeny tiny little nest we could decorate. So you could like have uh, little tiny birds flying around. The ambient animals that get out of the fire pit, you guys. <laughs> the ambient animals that we can add in are always so just absolutely charming to me uh, for zoos. All right. And there we go. So now that that's done, let's get a few bearberry bushes scattered about so that we can try to make it a little nicer. And look, we can even kind of do this to divide off the... Here, we can even do this so people don't see like where that path is leading. There we go. Look at how pretty that is already. And the chipmunks are breeding a little too fast. I think we might need to, <laughs> we might need to step in and like calm the chipmunks down because they they know that they went extinct because due to mismanagement last time and they apparently are just like going going absolutely wild for babies right now. All right. Look at that. Oh, that's so nice. See, I know that my builds often look exceptionally chaotic in the beginning, but once you come back in and you start putting down some like nice plants, you really get in here and you tell them what for with the lovely little like bushes and trees. There we go. Maybe another poplar. I think we're going to go for maybe a little spruce tree, tiny spruce tree. Oh, it's so cute. There, and then maybe we'll do another poplar, a small one, or a beach. There we go, to have just like that nice little divider of plants! Because what could go wrong with plants? I love it. And yeah, and then you have your little camp. That is quite charming. And we can even put down, oh, nice big tree that people have to like climb over in order to get into the campsite. Because that happens a lot too. And then under the tree, we'll put in a nice mossy rock, because why not? All right, I'm very happy to build a little camp where people can come and appreciate foxes. And in fact, let's see if maybe there's some sort of cute decorative thing we can put down in honor of said foxes. Let's see, I think I need a smaller tree or smaller rock. Come here, aha, there we go. Oh, how fun! I love this! This is so charming now, friends. See, you just need a little bit of TLC. People will have somewhere they can get warm. We'll see if anybody ever sits down in these spots, because that would be absolutely charming. And then we're just going to rename this to the um, Fox Camp Coffee. There we go. And I bet if we're clever about it, we could even sneak in some sort of cool exhibit somewhere nearby like over here where everybody is like coming out uh we could sneak in a cute little exhibit animal somewhere nearby and make it even nicer to come and enjoy the little campsite okay i'm i'm quite pleased with this this has turned out neatly let's see north american continent might do a little bit more decorating real fast putting down moss in the middle of winter you say is kind of odd you say well i won't argue with you there Okay, that's actually really pretty. Friends, a little bit of imagination and a lot of plant tape will transform the area. I love it. All right, maybe some normal moss now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's try to get this. There we go. Yeah, a little bit of normal moss. We'll change the terrain over here to some short grass. Whoops. And then we'll change it into some soil up along here. Lovely, very lovely indeed. And then people like have a spot where they're kind of warm and now admiring all of our foxes. That's excellent. Oh gosh, did I forget to put down? <laughs> all right, oh my good word. There's so many people here. They're all checking out our Canadian geese too. Well, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the gander. Um, do please remember, like, drop drop the donos, drop the donos. They're desperately needed. We'll, we'll try to make this look a little bit nicer next time, too. Though I do have some new animals. I do want to start working on getting us a proper beaver. Like, beavers that we actually get to, like, stay with for a long time. 
Uh, but since we are indeed, here, we'll put some fox things over here. Still working on our challenge zoo, I might focus on some more of the cool modded animals in just a minute here. Phew, there we go. All right, well, that's a lot of donation bins. So I probably don't need that last one, but that's okay. All right, and then, oh, what the heck? When did we have fox cubs? Oh my word, I was so distracted building their little farm or their little, um, oh my gosh, I was so distracted building their, their, their camp. I didn't even notice that apparently we have a bunch of fox cubs. What? All right, that deserves a little bit of attention. Um, and definitely some new names from you guys, of course. So give me just a second. I'm, I'm very tickled about all of this. This just escalated very quickly. Let's see some, ooh, that's actually kind of a nice bush. Don't know if it actually match like everything else that's supposed to be over here. Cause I think that these, yeah, these are like desert bushes. But I'm sure you could have some like stubborn custard apple trees that like survive in this area. Oh, that's nice. I actually really like the look of those custard apple trees. They're very cute. Wait, who died? Oh, I missed the seventh. The white-tailed deer died. Oh, dear. And then Sloth the Red Fox is preventing other animals from breeding. Huh. We'll keep an eye on that. Maybe he doesn't want to breed with his mate, uh, which would be a bit of a pity. But let's wrap up the last of, like, today's uh, amazing adventures with decorating this place. Because, come on, fox cubs? Like, that's adorable. That's perfect. And I wonder if I can sneak in big lines of azaleas on the outside. Okay, they are, like, literally climbing the fence, which was not quite what I had planned. But it looks very pretty along here, at least. All right, there we go. Oh, my gosh. Nice. And then we could just have, like, a gigantic... Ooh, let's have, like, just a huge azalea bush that will say... Like a huge one. Look, look. Oh, that's so cool. That will say just like cascaded over the top of the fence. Oh, that's so cool. There we go. I would love to walk past this thing. Can you imagine how beautiful it smells? We've got big beech tree. I think I want more of the saplings because they actually make pretty good bushes. We'll put in a few beech saplings as bushes here and there. There we go. To make like a bramble that the foxes can go ahead and enjoy. Oh, they have their little pond, which is so cute. And I meant to come over here. That's right. We were going to add in all sorts of rocks. So I might need to make this area kind of mossy to imply like it's just very moist back here. Oh, wow. It comes together so fast now that, like, the plants automatically rotate themselves. It just, it could bring a tear to your eyes, friends, at how much easier our life is now. All right, let's actually see if we can make common water lilies. All right, those would be really pretty to have over here. Oh, okay, hang on one second. Having them aligned to surface would be a little bit of a problem. There we go. The foxes seem to love swimming. We'll see how much we can decorate today for them. Hello, pretties. There's a few of those. Common ash tree. Hmm, that actually looks really cool. All right. Normally, like, I stick to, like, the bushes go where bushes go and grass goes where grass goes. But experimenting with these other, like, trees as bushes is turning out fantastic results that look really organic as well. So we'll keep doing this for a little bit, because this is actually very nice. There we go. All right. <laughs> well, it's not quite as much as I wanted. And let me see if I can rush in here and get down a couple of mossy rocks. Ooh, maybe a big mossy rock? Ooh. Okay. And now let's go back to aligning to surface so we can all play nicely together, please, rocks. There we go. And we're going to try to make a tiny little stream that's just going to cascade from over here 
Oh, that actually... Oh, ha, ha. Nice, nice. I'll go for it, I'll go for it. Oh, lovely. Last thing we need to add in now. Other than, like, maybe some nettles. Oh my gosh, the nettles would be so cute. <laughs> the nettles are so cute! Ah! Okay, I'm sorry. I get so distracted with just the, the absolute delight of putting down so many plants. Oh, and the twin flowers would look so good over here. Just tucked over with all of the foxes. Oh, friends, we're going to make this into a fairy tale place. <laughs> I, I truly, deeply believe we're going to turn this into an absolute fairy tale land with foxes and all sorts of other animals. It's gonna be beautiful. There's a water jet small, medium splash, large splash, small splash. Hmm. And then we're gonna do, not rapids, waterfall, top, five meters. Oh, lovely. <laughs> you guys, I'm so happy. What a beautiful place. Gosh, you know what? I know it's just so random because we're here so often and we're decorating so often. But for some reason today, I just really feel the the fun and the specialness of of having created this. Like having made something beautiful where there really wasn't anything before. And we worked together and we created something pretty gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah, we're walking right into a fairy tale. This is, this is going to be so fun. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you have some names for our little fox cubs, do please let me know because we're going to be very, or kits, I should say. We're going to be very busy taking good care of them in just a second here, trying to make them some nice little places to get out of the cold and the wet. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.